All right, what's going on? Welcome back to React and Chill with Chubby Dudley. Bay Ragney here, Chubby Dudley, or if we can go back even further, Easy Rider in ECW Eastern Championship Wrestling. So we are here, and we are getting ready to watch uh, segment number three, or match number three, whatever you'd like to call it. In uh, It's on episode number 14 from July 6th. Uh, 1993 in ECW television history. I'm about to push the play button. But as always, before I push play, and I have no idea what the next match is, um, before I push play, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment, but most importantly, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and make sure you get all the notifications about when I drop new episodes this week and come along for the ride as we go to the extreme and watch a lot of wrestling and as we it's gonna be a lot of fun wrestling so uh let me hit uh actually let me make myself smaller over here put myself in the corner and let's hit play and see what's going on this is not just a refill this is being independent together walgreens at Domino's, there's an endless debate. Does adding pepperoni to something always make it better? Uh, yeah. Debate over. Introducing Domino's new pepperoni stuffed cheesy bread. Loaded up with irresistible pepperoni, it's our most delicious stuffed cheesy bread yet. Only at Domino's. Hey. Wake up. The words in your head, you're the only one that can hear them. Say it. Yes, I can. Move. Hold on to this feeling. Yes, I can. Yes, I must. Watch me. Stevie Wonderful back here with Whoa. Mr. Hunter Q. Robbins III. He's still there. ECW president, Mr. Todd Gordon. I thought he was gone by Mr. now. Hunter Q. Robbins III is visibly upset right now with all the things that have gone on between the, his team, the Suicide Blondes, and the Super Destroyers. Well, who wouldn't be upset, Steve? We were robbed. You, you, Todd Gordon, you did it to me again. You did it to me one time with the Destroyers, and now you're trying to pull the same thing with the Suicide Blondes. Well, I tell you what, Todd Gordon, a man in my position cannot afford to look ridiculous. I've got a reputation. We want those belts back, Gordon, and I'm willing to do anything to get them, Todd Gordon. Anything. I don't care what, Todd Gordon. Oh, what's, what's this what going to Gordon? be? You want to you show how much confidence I have in my men? I will tell you. We'll be willing to leave town if you give us a match. We can't win those belts. We'll leave town. Not only that, Todd Gordon. You, hand me, you handcuffed me to Tommy Carver once. You can handcuff me to Belovo. I don't care. I've got confidence in these guys. They'll do it no matter what happens, Todd Gordon. How about it? All I want is the match. I'm going to work on this right now. Wow. Won't that be a great match? Oh, I'm guessing this is... Uh, uh, we'll talk about it later. What's going on here? All right. From Mystic Army, Jersey, 252 pounds, Iron Man, Tommy Cairo. And from Philadelphia, 238 pounds, Larry Winter. Now, this is like Representing three of the top guys from Philly. In 245 Let's see what goes on here the as they face Hot Patriot. Stuff International. That's not flying out of his nose. Come on, Doug. 288 pounds, the current ECW heavyweight champion, the magnificent Morocco. Morocco's yawning. And the proclaimed king of... Hey, my buddy Greg. Rest, his, rest in peace. Dream, hot stuff, Eddie Gilbert. My buddy Greg, who they just showed, knew know him for many years. He actually used to drive me to shows when I worked for Kettner in Delaware. He's the one that hooked me up with Kettner, as a matter of fact. He used to drive me to all the shows. To all the peasants out there, the man that they need to bow in servitude to, Tutu, I did say that, the king, hot stuff, Eddie Gilbert. I don't think so, Paulie. Dangerously, somehow I can't see these fans here in Philadelphia. 
Bowing down to Eddie Gilbert. We've got a big six-man tag team match here, fans, with three of your associates, Paul E. Dangerously, the Dark Patriot, Eddie Gilbert, and the ECW heavyweight champion, Ooh. John Morocco, facing off against the Pennsylvania heavyweight champion, a little scared by that. Tommy Cairo, Larry Winters, and the madman from the Badlands, Glenn Osborne. Yeah, but I'll tell you what. Notice the quickness, the speed of the hand movement of the dark. Patient. Yeah, he looks he good. He looks hand. really good here. The king, the king of Philadelphia, hot stuff, Eddie Gilbert. Oh, hot stuff, Eddie Gilbert in the ring here, fans. Big right hand in the face of Tommy Cairo. That's two, trying to bring the Pennsylvania State champion off his feet. You know, I have. I wonder how long that belt lasted. Oh, I love surprises. You know that, Paulie. And it deals with the king. And I'll tell you about it in just a little while. <laughs> I can't wait. I bet you can't. Beautiful close nice. Line. Notice the momentum that he used flying through midair, drifting and driving back. That's a great looking close line. Kyle Wham drives him right into the rope as he looks down upon another peasant that will bow in servitude to the king. Hot stuff, Eddie Gilbert. Tommy Cairo with a nice arm ringer on Eddie Gilbert. Tags in Larry Winters. Larry Winters off the second rope. Continuing to work on Eddie Gilbert. Spit it out here, Jay. Eddie Gilbert. Oh, yes. Spit it out there, Sully. Come on. You're in awe. You're in awe of being in the presence of the true king of Philadelphia. Hot stuff, Eddie Gilbert of the ECW heavyweight champion. The magnificent Morocco of the dark. Hey, 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 hey. There's no tag. There's no tag. There was no tag. I don't know, Paulie. The Iron Man. I mean, you don't know. It was so okay. <laughs> I was paying attention to Don Morocco and the Dark Patriot. Hey, hey, there was so no tag. <laughs> Why are we situated so far away from the ring? Why must we be up here? Up here in the Eagles. There was no, 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 no. There was no tag. <laughs> That's. No, I like the tactics of Larry Winters and Tommy Cairo there. Hey, if the Dark Patriot and Don Morocco want to distract the referee, hey, they've got what's coming to them. Good attack. Nice legal tag. In comes Magnificent Morocco. And now we'll have. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Interesting. You gotta see that tag. No tag. No tag. No tag. <laughs> oh, man. I'm calling somebody. Hold on. Oh, oh. Hold on. Uh-uh. Who's he calling? Who's he calling? To work over the left arm of Eddie Gilbert. Hello. Murray. My attorney. Murray. Murray. Murray, there was no tag. Paulie, get off the phone and pay attention to the map, would you please? Murray, hold on. Murray, let me put you on hold. Tommy Cairo this. back in the ring. Whips Eddie Gilbert across. Oh, oh man, elbow. he caught him right flush in the chin. Drove his head right back into the mat. And in comes Larry Winters, who shows no gratitude towards the king of Philadelphia. I'm really impressed with this team of Cairo winners and Osborne. They act, I mean, this is a nice little match. It really is. Eddie Gilbert, uh, oh. Nice back and forth. Eddie Gilbert to this corner tags in the ECW heavyweight champion, the Magnificent Morocco, and he doesn't look happy. Wow, a snap neck breaker by the Magnificent One. Scoops him up and a beautiful power body slam. And in comes the Dark Patriot, one of your favorites. You know, he should have taken you Don comes in, one, two, out. A couple weeks ago. One of the most incredible things I've ever seen, fans, the Dark Patriot up here, 20 foot above the arena floor, diving from the Eagle's Nest onto a prone J.T. Smith. Yeah, hey, where's JT been, actually? Two count on Larry Winter. Do you call it the Eagle? Oh, Ooh. man, modified DDT. And still goes right back to work on Winters. And oh. draws in Tommy Cairo and enables the double team from hot stuff. The King, Eddie Gilbert. Do you call it the Eagles? Yes. The Dark Patriot looks Eagles good. Eagles is the name of the hometown team here in Philadelphia. Exactly why I call that, Paulie. You know, they are a great hockey team. Hockey team? We're the professional football team here in Philadelphia. Don't you know anything, Paulie? Really? How many home runs did they hit last year? Paulie, you don't know anything. You may know your wrestling, but uh, I guess that's about it in the sports world. And notice the classic distraction maneuvers being employed by the king, Hustuff Eddie Gilbert, and the ECW heavyweight champion, the magnificent Morocco. I don't understand why you continue to proclaim Eddie Gilbert as the king of Philadelphia, Paulie e. Danger. Oh, no, 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 no. Excuse me. I never proclaimed hot stuff the king Eddie Gilbert to be the king just a few weeks ago on June 19th. Terry Funk dropped down to one knee right here in Philadelphia, looked up towards the heavens above and said, 
Oh, dear God. Hasta Fetty Gilbert truly is the king of Philadelphia. Fetty <laughs> oh, Gilbert trying a nice elbow drop there on Larry Winters. Larry Winters able to get out of the way. And nice hot and tag. Nice like tag to the Dark Patriot. I believe he's the legal man in the ring now, Paulie. Yeah, but man, I tell you what, look at this. This guy's completely out of control. Glenn Osborne ripping, whipping the Dark Patriot into the corner. Oh, 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 on the Dark Patriot. God, that's scary. I thought it was a snap of ankle. Keep his footing and Osborne now really taking it to the Dark Patriot. A headbutt on the Dark Patriot. When you Patriot. see something like that, that scares me. I, oh, man, oh. oh. I call that, Paulie. <laughs> I call it a right, right to the face. What would you call it, Jason? <laughs> I called it a oh, watch maneuver. It's just got missile. Oh, the Patriot missile. Unbelievable. No, no the Scud missile. Well, One, two, three. Unbelievable. The Scud missile. Your winners, the team of the American Team Morocco, the Dark Patriot, Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. All right, fans. That's nice right, match. Fans. What we're going to see now. That was a very nice I'm match. Interrupting you is a day. In the life of George King of Philadelphia. Oh. A day in the life. Let's see. Eddie Gilbert. And Eddie Gilbert, sit down here with me. Eddie Gilbert, sit down here. South Street, Philly. Uh, back when South Street was fun. Eddie Gilbert. I have to sit down right now. Excuse me. Hello, Mr. Gordon. Come over there. Yes. Yes, hello. Todd Gordon. Let's sit right over there. Eddie Gilbert. First of all, last week you drug me. What's his shirt say? Love me, love my dog. Here trying to enjoy myself in a club on South Street, and you come plucking me out of there. What's going on? Well, the kind of club you're in, you ought to be happy I got you out. <laughs> What's your problem? You should be happy. You never even get out of the house, Mr. Stiff Shirt. Huh? And I've got you following me you around everywhere I go in those city. Dollars. I'm not following you. You and every smart person in Philadelphia follow me around the city. You understand? Do you understand about what we're about to embark on in this city? Let's forget the mayor. Let's forget the city council. Let's forget all these sporting teams you have. You want the 76ers and the Phillies and the Flyers and all these so-called sporting teams. And of course, the Philadelphia Eagles. Now they have something to be proud of. Now you have something to look up to. More popular than President Bill Clinton. Yes, me. Hot stuff, Eddie Gilbert, the king of Philadelphia and of everyone. And you get to be around me. You get to be close enough to me. To almost rub up next to me. Get your knee off my knee, Jay Sully. Don't listen to that. They all say hail to the king. Almost kind of like Hitler, but not quite that bad. <laughs> now, you have any questions, sir? Any questions for the king of Philadelphia? Yes. Uh, can I get back to the club now, Eddie? Well, you know how I won that title, don't you? Yes, Eddie, I know how you won that title at That's the right. ECW Arena. Why don't you tell everybody? I beat Terry Funk. I became the king of Philadelphia. Every man, woman, child in this city knows I'm the king. All now we're going to do is that we are going to start a little tax. A tax on the city of Philadelphia? Yeah, on the people of Philadelphia? Right. You have to start a tax on all your subjects. I've been reading Robin Hood. <laughs> and I know that's what the king did in that. And what do you plan on doing with the money that you collect from the uh, fair people of Philadelphia, Eddie Gilbert? Well, I call up a few women and we go up to Atlantic City. I'm going to even let you go. I may let Matt go. I may let Bob go. I'm on, I trying to figure out where they're Bob out Gordon from. Goes. What is that Bob sign in the back? Us, World. I don't want to be on camera right now. He's a little embarrassed. And you know, I've got a new brother that I'm very proud of in Professor Resident named Freddie Gilbert. A lot of people been talking about Freddie lately. They've been saying, where'd you hide Freddie at? Well, I've had Freddie all my life. And all you people are going to know what I'm talking about in the weeks to come. So once you say bye to everybody right now, we're going to go have some more fun on the streets of Philadelphia and more adventures of the king. Get that camera up here. Of Philadelphia. Right, people? Yes. 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 All that applause. Make sure we just put the tracks in. On the world. The put the tracks in. I'm here with a self-proclaimed king of Philadelphia. Not Elvis either. Eddie Gilbert, we'll see you next week. Action news. That's hysterical. People are like, what the hell is this? Boy, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. These, I, w I wish they would uh, like have really 
like showing him walking up and down South Street in Philly. That would have been hysterical. Plus, I would have loved to see him and uh, gone back in time and see when 93, when I was going down in South Street and hanging out, doing a lot of shopping, the good old days. I miss those days. I can't believe it was freaking 30 years ago. Can you? <laughs> so scary. So, all right, everybody, thanks again for tuning in. If you haven't already, go down below. Like I said, please hit that subscribe button. We're trying to break the 500 mark. We're closing in. We're inching in every day, closer and closer. And uh, we'll be back in a few days. And you saw it. We're going to see you. We're going to meet Freddie Gilbert and uh, have an interview with Freddie and Eddie Gilbert. Until next time, everybody, stay safe. Peace out, and let's get extreme.